is the Snow Wolf Car 98. It's cheap. It's very, very, very cheap. This is the TNT upgrade kit. Okay? Now, I'm pissed off because a couple of known YouTubers who do lots and lots of reviews of guns uh, made a big point of saying that this is absolutely TM compatible. Those are the words. TM compatible. But they're fucking not. They're not TM compatible. In fact, I, as far as I'm aware, it turns out only the hot rubber and the inner barrel are actually TM compatible. And that kind of fucks me off, I'm being honest. And that's, that's not right. If you are an airsoft review channel and you want to give people information on what to buy and why, you need to know a couple of fucking tiny details. And telling people that something is VSR 10 compatible, again, those were terms used as well, VSR 10 compatible. So when the customer said to me, oh, can you do my gun? Can you upgrade it and make it good? I said, yeah, everything I've read says it's VSR 10 compatible. Is it fucking shit? This is just another case and another fucking reason why I really, really don't like these fucking airsoft YouTube fucking reporters. They get given free shit to review and they tell you, yep, VSR 10 compatible. And when you really look into it, you realise the majority of these people have no fucking idea what they're fucking talking about. They get given some shit and they put together a really fucking cringy video on how great it is. Well, guess what? These are not great. They're not very good at all. They're pretty fucking shocking, in fact. And if you want to change the parts in it, you've got to buy particular parts that aren't very good. There we go. Sears. The fuck? Now this is not an expensive kit. This is not an expensive gun. But this is not going to be a very good gun at the end. Now I don't mind when it's a cheap gun and it lasts for a while and then you just go to throw some fucking parts in it and just repair it. Uh, that's fine. But these are breaking pretty quickly and yeah, it's a problem. If you are a fucking airsoft reviewer, don't review something and say something that you have no fucking clue about. No fucking clue about. Because I told the customer I could do it, and I'm pissed off at you, because you're full of shit. Anyway, here's how it works. That's your safety. Flip it, pull it, close it, fire it. Let's see what the power is on point twos. Okay, quick inspection. Looks like that's the hop up. It was all the way up here, so I'm just gonna put it down here, because that first shot chronoed at 236 feet per second. 207. No idea if you're getting that in the shot or not. 207. Two oh five. So maybe that was the hop all the way on. Let's put it somewhere in the middle. Hop's now somewhere in the middle. 236. 257. 250. I've now put the hop exactly where it was, all the way at the back, which I think is now hop all the way off, I guess. 253. So, not skirmishable. That fires with more range with the hop off, because with the hop even slightly on, or all the way on, doesn't matter, the BB just goes, so this is no hop. With the hop on, this is point two as it goes. Not good. I think it's apparent that I've not worked on one of these before. So I guess I'll just crack on and see what I can do with it. We've got lots of drift pins. One, two, three, four. Five, six. <gasps> My 
my Snow Wolf Barrett came with the exact same thing. <laughs> Anyone who's ever done that on any bolty where they've had to do it a couple of times, think about the pain. Think about the pain when you get a little fucking shard of metal go straight underneath your fucking thumb and finger skin. Now watch it again. Think about it. You bastard. You Bastard! I can't fucking believe it! Are you kidding? Are you fucking serious? Original barrel. Original hop unit. I can't fucking believe it, right? Everyone has told me. Hang on. Let's get all this together. It's not fucking compatible. It's fucking not. It's fucking not. It's different. Fuck. Fuck me. Oh, it's fucking different. Mate. Oh, fuck you. Right. Technically, I can just get rid of that fucking cut there, but I don't know what's gonna happen if I do. So I'm gonna have to do it with the original barrel and the flamingo rubber. Seriously, flamingo rubbers. See, that is all that locks the barrel in place as well. And that makes me fucking nervous. I don't wanna remove that piece because that is all that locks the barrel in place. It would not have been hard just to make it TM compatible. It really fucking wouldn't. So, that is the customer's parts fitted. The only part I've applied to it is the Flamingo hot rubber, because honestly, as far as I've tested bolt action rifles and gas blowback pistols and rifles, I really haven't come across anything that is as good as the Flamingo rubber. Now, let's do a proper review, not the shit the people have been putting out there recently. Does it look good? Yes. But why doesn't the wood match from the up to the lower? I don't know, anyway. Does it look good? Yeah, it does. It actually does look quite good. If you put that on your wall, right, and you were to just not touch it, people from far away think that's real wood. But I can do a little bit with some airbrushing and make that look really fucking nice. Does it feel all right? Does it feel all right? Yes, it does feel very, very, very solid. It does feel solid. Is it easy to cock? Well, fuck me, I mean, compared to an Ares Striker that's doing the exact same thing at this power with the hop set, back in 401, yeah, that does feel really, really good. The trigger's better. It's not bad. Is it a nightmare to work on? Once you know how to take it apart, it's still a nightmare. It's still a nightmare because it is not easy to figure it all out and it's fussy to get back together. And that's a problem. I can't think of another spring rifle that is as argumentative as this one. I really can't think of one. If you want a car 98 and what people don't know about Mr. Negative Airsoft is, yeah, he's got a huge collection. Apart from a 1911 and my top MP40, I don't own a single World War II sort of gun. It's not my thing. I don't think they're attractive to look at. I, I, this is one of the better ones, granted, but I do not. I just, I don't like World War II, World War I kind of guns. 
you know, all the little fucking British fanboys, the little flag-waving fuckwits that You must have a Lee Enfield! No, no. They are fucking repugnant. I, I, no. And this, it's one of the nicer looking World War II style rifles, but it does nothing for me, really. It does not, it's not something I'd ever envisage owning. It really isn't. I'd much rather have the D-Boys shell ejecting car 98, sort the wood out, make it look nicer and stick it on the wall as a war hanger. I'd much rather go for that for the price. Um, this is a better gun. If I had to make a tier system of bolt action rifles, I would be putting in the shell ejecting car 98s right at the fucking bottom, then the Ares Striker, then this gun, and then everything else everything else. All the parts the customer supplied have gone in there, so piston, spring guide, spring, nozzle, you know, all the steel parts, it's all in there. The only part they don't supply is a trigger sear. So I really can't imagine that this thing's gonna last very fucking long at all, I honestly can't. I don't understand why you would use the VSR-10 I don't understand why you'd use the VSR-10 style rubber and then make the barrel different. It doesn't make sense. All you had to do was just change that hop unit that you designed very slightly, you know? So you can use aftermarket barrels. Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you do that? And looking at it back here, like, why didn't you change it to make it a bit more VSR? I don't, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But honestly, for the people that put reviews up of this saying how good it is, it fucking isn't. It really, really isn't. You've been given some free shit so that you say it was good. And it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. And when you go and tell people that it's VSR compatible, a fucking rubber does not make it VSR compatible. Don't fuck with people like that. It's not fair. It's not fucking fair.